I'm Atuba Judge, and I'm so excited to be bringing God's word to you today. His word is life, and that life is the light of men. Today is the last day of the month of August, and I know that everything God has in store for you, just like I prayed with you yesterday, a miracle will still happen in your life today. I believe that, and I know God will see to it. Praise God. So listen, cheer up. Expect a miracle today. And I also want to invite you before we go into the broadcast today for our fasting and prayer meeting, which begins tonight at 12 midnight. And we're going to be fasting throughout tomorrow. And we are going to be praying according to the watches. At every watch that is at 12 noon, at 12 midnight, and then at 3 a.m., at 6 a.m., 9 a.m., 12 noon, 3 p.m., 6 p.m., and the last watch, which is 9 p.m. We're going to be praying and releasing our faith concerning the month of September. I don't want you to miss this particular one. God is about to start something new, not just in your life, on the earth as a whole. So get ready, plan for it, set your alarm for this purpose. Don't miss this meeting for anything. Praise God. Before we go into today's broadcast, can we call for that daily bread? Join me right now as we make that demand. Say, Father, I receive today all my daily bread for the month of August. Say, Lord, Anything I may have missed through this month, I receive it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Expect a miracle truly because God is surely going to visit you. Now we're going to be listening to the concluding part of the message I began sharing with you on Monday. And I pray as you're listening attentively, the Lord will surely visit you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen to this and be blessed. You don't need anybody to lay hands on you to hear the voice of God. You don't need anybody to join you in prayers to hear the voice of God. You know, while I was thinking today, preparing for this meeting, the Lord said something to me. He said, son, you know, Many people think there there has to be a special condition for them to hear me speak to them. They say they don't know how much I yearn to speak to them. Because he sees the darkness in the world. He doesn't like it. So he's looking for that light, his light to fill everywhere. And then the Lord said something to me. He said, I've never thought of it before. I've thought of it in respect to Cain. But I've never thought about it in respect to Jacob. He said, do you realize Jacob finished cheating his brother, stole his blessing. Now he was running for his life. Do you understand what I'm saying? He never repented. He never got to a place and said, hey, father, I repent, I repent. He he was on a journey. He got tired on that journey and decided to sleep, praying that the brother is not chasing him from anywhere. It was in that sleep God appeared to him. No repentance. He just did something wrong. God appeared to him. Are you getting what I'm saying? God appeared to him, made him a promise. God didn't appear to him and said, "Um, Jacob, uh, you need to repent first. You cheated your brother. In fact, you need to go back and apologize to your brother. Then I will bless you. No. God didn't talk about it. You get what I'm saying? God didn't talk about it. He heard the voice of God in a dream. He had a dream that night and woke up 
and believed every word he heard in that dream. Some of you have wonderful dreams, but you wake up and you don't believe. You don't respond to the dream. He woke up and guess what he said? Ah, so God was in this place and I did not know. He was ashamed for himself. Then he said, Lord, if you will be with me. Where did God say he will be with him? In a dream. Are you understanding what I'm saying? God said in a dream that I will be with you. I will never leave you until I bring to pass everything that I have spoken concerning you. And he woke up in the morning and said, if you will be with me. He didn't wake up and say, Father, hey, all this word I heard in the dream, make it to be true. Oh God, make, it, make my dream to be true. No. He believed the dream was true. So now, he was responding to the dream. If you will be with me and bring me back to my father's house as you have said, this is my commitment to you because he has been taught. He believed. But this is the same thing the devil does. God wants to speak to you, but Satan runs to come first. He said, he think God will talk to you. He said, he knows the way, he knows the operation of God and man. He knows. He knows that the operation is words. God will speak words and those words will be life. He knows it. So what he always tries to do is to stop you from receiving that word. And the best way he does it was to come and speak first. So while you are waiting, he comes there and says, hmm. God doesn't speak to people who, that behave like this. Forget it. He doesn't. For you to hear God, you have to first of all go and do one, two, three, four, five. And you now think about it. It is appealing to your flesh. Just like Eve looked at that tree and said, ah, ah, this thing is actually good for food. And he said, eh, go ahead. Go ahead. You now find yourself. The Bible says, come into the throne of grace and obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. God invited, he says, come. This is the throne. He didn't say, but now you want to go to the church. Say, hey, who are you? To enter the throne of God. Don't you see how dirty and filthy you are? Go and cleanse yourself first. And then now, you now go everywhere, start looking for where to cleanse yourself. But what did God say? Come into the throne of grace and find what? And find what? Where is the mercy? Where is the mercy? In the throne. Where is the grace? In the throne. Satan says, Kai, don't. Kai. You want God to kill you? Go and clean yourself first. You start looking for everywhere to clean yourself. And then you don't come to the throne. Brothers and sisters, the way to live a sinless life is not by how much you try to clean yourself. It's how much life you are open to receive from you. Your sin is not a problem to him. It doesn't prevent him from giving you life. Because he knows that it is the life he will give you if you will walk in it. That's what will take the sin and separate you from the sin. There is no other way you can cleanse yourself apart from life. Are you getting what I'm saying? So Jesus himself said, a time will come when the dead will hear the sound of the Son of Man. And those who hear shall what? Live. He doesn't tell them to go and rise first before they come and hear his sound. He said the dead in their dead state will hear his sound. And if they will receive that sound, they would live. God is ready to speak to everyone. Are you getting what I'm saying? The problem is not God. The problem is who do you listen to and who do you believe? It doesn't matter where you are today. It's the same way. Whatever situation you're dealing with is the same way. Where is the life? Where is the life? It comes from his mouth. Father, I want to receive life. I want to receive life. That's what Jesus said.
Is it the words that I speak unto you? They are spirits and they are life. The words that I speak. He didn't say the words that you read. John 5, 39. He said, you search the scriptures for in them you think you have eternal life. And these scriptures are they which testify of me. Next verse. But you are not willing to come to me that you may have life. Is that not the story of many people? The Bible said, the Bible said, the Bible said, the Bible said, James chapter 1 verse this, Luke chapter this verse this, Romans chapter this verse this, but it doesn't work. That's not where the life is. That gives you information about the life. But to get the life, what did he say? But you will not come to me. But you are not willing to come to me. He didn't say, but you are not willing to open your hearts. No. He said, but you are not willing to come to me. There is no other way. You can't, he cannot transmit life from another medium. To get life, you have to come to him. Bow your head. Be it sickness in your body. Whatever it is. I don't like the kind of life I'm living. It's the same principle. I don't like my, my financial condition. The same principle. What is it supposed to be like? You search the scriptures, you find it. Then take those scriptures to him. Say, Jesus, you said, you are my shepherd, I shall not want. Why is it not working in my life? Only him can answer that question. There is no scripture that can answer that question. You said by his stripes, I was healed. I found that information in the scriptures. But why am I still sick? There is no scripture that can answer that question for you. It is only him that can answer that question. So what do you do? Go to him. And he's not far away. You don't have to climb a mountain to see him. You don't have to go to a prophet's house to see him. Right here, even here. Those of you watching online, right there where you are, he's there with you. If you can just take those scriptures that you believe is true, take it to him. For what reason? That he may give you life. It is him that will tell you, yes, I said so. And I mean it. Get up and be healed. That's all. That life. Now when he says get up and be healed. You take those words from his mouth. And you stand up on your feet. Let me see that darkness. That, was, that darkness of sickness. That can, that can withstand that light. Open your mouth and speak to the Lord. There is no other life. There is no other way. Some of you, the devil has so deceived you and deceived you and prevented you from receiving life from him. Telling you all wrong things why God will never speak to you. But brothers and sisters, he's there, willing to speak. He said, my sheep hears my voice. Meaning every one of my sheep is supposed to have life. Every one of my sheep is supposed to walk in that life and give light to the world. I declare over your life from today, you will begin to walk by that life. Your life will begin to bring light, not just to you, but to your world. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, everywhere you go from today, you will not lack words from his mouth. When you wake up in the morning, you will hear words from his mouth. And by that word, you shall live. You will live by the words that you hear from his mouth. And that word from his mouth will give you life. It will give you light. And the light will shine through every darkness. I declare over your life from today, everywhere you go, light will come. Because you are coming with life. You are living a life. The light from that life will shine in darkness. You're not only bringing deliverance to yourself. You are bringing deliverance to your family. You are bringing deliverance to your organization. Oh, they said people that work in this organization, they don't turn out well. Ah, that was before. Now, somebody is here. He's going to receive life. And I will live that life. And when I live that life, don't run away. They tell you, 
this place you're working ah everybody that have worked in this organization this is how their life turned out very terrible don't run away don't say ah who brought me here don't run don't run from darkness you have the ability to carry lights that place has been dark because you have not come they say ah, what are you doing there brother what are you doing here this man is evil ah, ah, ah. I have come to inherit this place I have come to inherit this place imagine when Jesus met that man that madman everybody had ran away from him nobody wanted anything to deal with that man and Jesus stepped into that place and here's this man naked mad rushed at him he will want to avoid that kind of a place it was a graveyard so you have no business even being there but even Jesus said the, the one who used to disturb the peace of this graveyard will bring light to him told that devil to come out of the man those devils came out of him the man became sane that's the kind of power we all carry why the secret of that power is the life is the life and guess what this word is not coming from heaven his spirit is right inside you so when he say receive words from him don't be like oh god can you speak to me ah, rather father talk to me give me words this must be your prayer every night every morning when you wake up lord without your life i cannot live that should be your attitude if you don't give me words i cannot go if you don't speak to me i can't do anything if you don't tell me what to do i can't there is nothing i can do if you don't tell me where to go i can't go anywhere now that's the attitude that brings him to be committed to giving you life lift up your voices and speak to the lord it is time to dispel darkness every darkness that exists no more complain now the reason there is no reason rather the reason i'm going through this situation is because i have no reason up to walk thank you lord jesus thank you for listening to today's message and i pray that from henceforth your life will never show darkness at all everything about your life will produce light in the name of the lord jesus christ and i pray because the lord is your portion and because the lord is the one who maintains your lot let him release to you today the thing that will cause joy to spring up from your heart in the name of the lord jesus christ therefore i declare today you shall be joyful things will happen that will cause you to be joyful today i declare before the night crosses to the next day you will receive a miracle in the name of the lord jesus christ so expect one and get ready to join our prayer meeting tonight like i told you earlier we are going to be having our prayer and fasting meeting starting from 12 midnight we're going to be meeting for a short while for about 40 minutes 40 to 45 minutes via zoom the link is on the screen and if you need further information about that you can call us and we'll be very willing to help you praise god you are blessed today hopefully i'll see you tonight god bless you bye bye